Welcome to Milo's channel. <laughs> Welcome to the shit show. There you go. This is going to be a new show. It's a forehead. Super shiny. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Good evening, everyone. We're here today. We um, try something new today. Before I just start anything else, I'm going to introduce my cousin here. Shout out your name here for a second. When the fuck did you start talking like that? Right. Fashion. <laughs> 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 you learned how to enunciate. <laughs> What's your fucking name? <laughs> Yo soy el monstro. Monstro. Monster. Monster. He's gonna help me review something today. He had to review his uh, birthday present. And today, this gimmicky piece of shit that's not a piece of shit that is apparently awesome for the price it is. Twenty dollars. And he will learn how to zoom in. Twenty dollars? Really? Yeah. Twenty dollars. Twenty old fucking bucks. Nobody bought it. Spirits of the apocalypse. What is, all right, so what is it? What is that? It's it's a, it's based on The Walking Dead, right? It's it's what's got The Walking it, Dead on it. Called? It's Spirit of the Apocalypse, The Walking Dead, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Hey. Who's, who's, who's Batch it? number one. Yeah. I'll be back. Batch number one. How do you know that? It's alcohol. Forty-seven uh, percent DVM. Who makes it? I don't even think I ain't looking that. Huh? No, you should have done some research before we started recording. I'm not. I'm not. Sure. Set in an apocalyptic world where the where the dead feed off the living, society has crumbled to the verge of extinction. No government. No stories. No mail delivery. No cable TV. But luckily, there is bourbon. Sounds like my childhood. Skybound Entertainment. So a collaboration between Skybound Entertainment, a company's called Diago. Diageo. Diageo. Based out of UK. Diageo. So that means it doesn't even make a real bourbon. Diageo. But it's, Diageo. It's, I guess, partner with Skybound Entertainment. It's like they tried to say Diego, but they spelled it really wrong. That's so why people say Diago. Anyways, well, that's more than you need to know. We're really trying too hard for this. <laughs> Let's just get to what we're supposed to do. Let's get to drinking, man. Fucking hey. So, it has a strong point of taste, smell actually. It's away. Alright. Doesn't smell too bad, right? No, it doesn't. The ethanol is not all there. I smelled cheap with this whiskey before. No close to it. It doesn't smell that cheap. It's not apple. <laughs> it's not apple. It's like, what should have an apple looking at? Like? <laughs> I smell cocaine. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. This. After my 20th sniff. I just know, you just know, where's the straw when you need one? Well, fuck it, there's only one other thing to do. It goes on super sweet. Super smooth. Hell That's alright. Hell of a way to uh, spend $20. That's alright. Worth it, right? $20 fucking dollars. For why did they drop the price? Because nobody was buying it. Literally, literally, when I went to go find it at Total, um, Total Wines, Chad told me, why are you buying that piece of crap? I mean, it's not crap. <laughs> but it's a gimmick. It, it's a straight gimmick. So it is a gimmick. It is. No distillery claimed it, so they probably like outsourced it to somebody else. They never, and then the outsourced never claimed it either. So it's just his own little brand, his own little world. And because of the sales are so bad, I'm pretty sure they ain't gonna make my own. I mean, I could get drunk to this. Uh, I could sure. get slurp. Pretty sure that's what's gonna happen to you. Now, ideally, from the research I did prior to this, they did say it's a good idea to keep one for collections because nine out of ten, this thing will be worth something later down on the road. Right. So, I mean, shit, how about that? I bought one for me because I don't give a fuck about collections. I know you do. We got your little stuff. This, this, this definitely will go on my shelf and it will be a showpiece and I will definitely talk about it. 
laugh about it. Mm-hmm. You know, laugh about it and joke about it. Ten years it. later, what the fuck is this show? Ten years later, when I finally finished watching the last like five seasons, because I haven't, I fell off. I, I stopped watching. I don't care anymore. Zombies. Right. It's not the same without Rick Grimes. I, I need Bernie to watch with Rick Grimes. We can start interviews. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I only watched it for Lauren Cohen. She left the show. Yeah. Very well. Now I, I lost my reason. Except for, uh, what's his face? Uh, Bo- Boondock's boy. Boondock boy? Boondock's boy. That's an official man. I have no idea who his name is. Daryl. Daryl. Daryl Dixon. His brother was an awesome character. They killed him off. They did. It is slowly starting to become a, a describing a while walking here. <laughs> this is what it's becoming. Uh, Not bad. I, 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 I do this all day. Yeah, 20 bucks. Not bad at all. You can buy better though. Oh, you can buy better. This is gimmicky. This is like, but you it, love it, The it, Walking Dead. Yeah. You, want some, this, you see this on your shelf? It's a good talking piece. You buy two bottles because I'm pretty sure you're not going to want to open one. Fucking two bottles worth. 40 bucks. Easy money. You can still sell it. Finish one and you have a story to go with the bottle. Uh, and you just fill it up with Coke. It says bourbon in it. <laughs> Those guys are say otherwise. Mm. What would you rate this? Like a one out of five. I would give it a three out of five. Mm, and that's, I think, maybe being... I'll give it two and a half. Just because it is... It is a you get, you get that wow factor. It's a gimmicky. That's why I gave yeah. it a three. Mm, it's not quite a three, but it pushes it to a three. At least for me. I give, I give you that, yes. The, the, the wow factor of like, what the hell is this? And then that, that doesn't taste bad. I'm half shitty. Wow. Fucking, I can go back then. I can go back and just taste like crap. And now it's worth 50 bucks. <laughs> but you get that nice bottle that turns into a bomb. <laughs> There's that. That's what that's what he's selling. He's selling a bomb. It with is. Just vodka in it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Hookah. Um, tobacco smoking product. Texas left the news. It's one of the two states that didn't vote for any kind of. Uh, all right, whatever. This isn't that. Kind of I'm moving to Oregon. This ain't that kind of video. Not yet. Why are you moving to Oregon? Oregon. Get for it, heroin. The good thing. Oh, God. Well, now we're grouping around here. Right. So we're going to have this up and show you at this note. So. Three, you say three out of five? Three out of five. Okay. That's being generous for me. Two and a half. It's a good drinker. It's a good, I'm pretty sure it tastes good with Coke. I haven't tried it yet. So we give it we give it like 2.75 Marlins? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I will officially figure out how to do that. We'll add heads. <laughs> <So we'll get laughs> 2.5 point, <laughs> Marlins. Beep. Which is like seven Kango hats. Because that's yes. all he's going to be wearing in any of these videos. Yes, <laughs> it's going to be a going on for it. You need seven Kango hats. Hey, we're going to start hitting strides here. Start hitting some more strides. All right, he, he, we can do some more episodes, so he's going to be around for a while. Thanks for coming by. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just a random drinking guy here saying, adios, motherfuckers. <laughs>